Chapter 640 to 10,000 Year Corpse Grass. Damn, why is this fellow so lucky? High Lord Sandlight was writhing with envy. He wasn't sure what this lucky chance was, whether it was completely used up, or whether there was still some remaining. It was impossible to find any of this out unless he killed Lin Ming. Thinking of this, High Lord Sandlight's heart surged with a thick killing intent. If he killed Lin Ming, not only would he be able to seize his lucky chance but he would also complete all the life sacrifices he needed. This was killing two birds with one stone. However, High Lord Sandlight suppressed his murderous thoughts. Although he had heard rumors of Lin Ming's strength, how strong he was had yet to be confirmed. But, Lin Ming had still managed to come here all alone by himself, so that meant he inevitably must be capable in some manner. Not just that, but he also broke through to revolving core. As High Lord Sandlight glanced over at High Lord Sky Eye, he saw that Sky Eye was wincing with fear. The two of them were among the top-ranked High Lords of Five Color Tower, so there was no need to mention their strength. They were also two against one, so their advantage was even greater. Even so, High Lord Sandlight and High Lord Sky Eye didn't have absolute faith they could kill Lin Ming. If Lin Ming managed to escape after, then he would surely take revenge against them in the future. They did not believe that their talent surpassed Lin Ming's. Although High Lord Sandlight's killing intent had only been there for a fleeting second, it was still detected by Lin Ming. Lin Ming faintly smiled and said, Is that how it is? You want to kill me to complete your little ceremony? High Lord Sandlight stiffened. He then laughed, smiling as he said, Brother Lin, don't make such a joke. River water does not mix with well water. How about we each mind our own business and take our separate roads? Take our separate roads? Lin Ming's lips curved in a caustic smile. If I was weak, then I fear I would already have been killed by you for a sacrifice. Hearing Lin Ming's obviously antagonistic words, High Lord Sandlight frowned and said, It's true that we don't want to fight you, but that doesn't mean we fear you. You can't defeat us and we can't stop you from leaving. If you want to fight then we'll join you, as long as you aren't scared of attracting evil spirits here. Otherwise, if you don't want to fight, then I kindly ask you to immediately leave. Leave. Lin Ming coldly smiled. If I'm not wrong, then that mound behind you is the grave of a 10,000 year corpse grass, and you want to take it away. As soon as High Lord Sandlight heard the name of Corpse Grass, his complexion suddenly changed. He had journeyed into the Eternal Demon Abyss four times in a row now, and he naturally had a great deal of experiences and understanding as to what heavenly treasures there were here. But this was obviously Lin Ming's first time here. How could he know so much? Ten thousand year corpse grass is similar to the caterpillar fungus that mortals breed. It is a seed that parasitizes the skeleton of an emperor level powerhouse. Using that skeleton as its nourishment, when it grows, it will have to constantly devour the blood vitality of other martial artists. The reason that you killed all those people was in order to feed this 10,000 year corpse grass until it was full. Then, it would be easier to capture. Am I right? Lin Ming's understandings of the 10,000 year corpse grass naturally came from the jade slip that the Polaris Tower Master gave him. With every word he spoke, High Lord Sandlight's complexion became uglier and uglier. At the end, he looked extremely miserable and haggard. High Lord Sandlight's body flashed with a thick killing intent as he said, Lin Ming, are you saying that you want to divide the spoils? Divide. Lin Ming shook his head. If I must venture a guess, this 10,000 year corpse grass still isn't full yet. I'm a bit scared of this corpse grass too, but if I feed both of you to it, then that should be enough. You want to die? High Lord Sandlight and High Lord Sky Eye flew into a volcanic rage. The two of them no longer spoke any nonsense. They attacked Lin Ming from both sides. Lin Ming's expression was calm. His right hand traced his spatial ring and the purple comet spear came howling out. Concept of thunder. Kyla. The vision of the High Lords were all obscured by the blinding light of thunder. Lin Ming thrust his spear out. Arcs of purple lightning wrapping around it like thick pythons. What? High Lord Sky Eye paled as he saw the arcs of lightning atop Lin Ming's spear. All of the demon essence he sent out had been instantly swallowed up by that blinding light without a trace remaining. In that split second, High Lord Sky Eye wasn't even able to think about what had just happened. Atop Lin Ming's spear, the purple thunder that contained the power of a battle spirit burst forth. A battle spirit could be attached to anything, strengthening its power greatly. This included even a thunder soul. A battle spirit infused coiling dragon steel needle howled forth, flying straight towards the space between High Lord Sandlight's eyes. Ah! In that moment, High Lord Sandlight's pupils shrank. With a panicked cry, he cut down on the coiling dragon steel needle. With a deafening sound, the coiling dragon steel needle broke under High Lord Sandlight's attack. However, a wisp of battle spirit infused lightning snuck into High Lord Sandlight's body, instantly paralyzing all of the demon essence within him. In an exchange between masters, the briefest moment of paralysis was enough to determine life and death. Puff. High Lord Sandlight felt a cold feeling in his chest as an icy long spear stabbed at him, ripping apart his true essence and thrusting straight through his body. As the long spear entered his body, true essence erupted. High Lord Sandlight's body shook and bloodshot into the wind. Don't. High Lord Sandlight's words were abruptly cut off mid-sentence. The violent and tyrannical true essence that Lin Ming poured into High Lord Sandlight's body rushed out from his orifices and head, directly smashing his organs and brain apart. As High Lord Sky Eye saw this, he was terrified. An inexplicable chill rose up his back, as if his spirit was escaping into the heavens. He never thought that this would happen. Two against one, in just two breaths of time, High Lord Sandlight had been instantly killed. Without any further words, High Lord Sky Eye turned around and fled. Lin Ming sneered. He stepped forwards, and a space between his feet seemed to shrink. In a single step, Lin Ming crossed several hundred feet and appeared right in front of High Lord Sky Eye. Lin Ming, don't force me. High Lord Sky Eye loudly shouted, his entire body turning a deep dark red, 
as if all of his blood was seeping out from him. Obviously, he wanted to use a secret technique of his race, but as this was only halfway completed, Lin Ming's spear had already pierced towards him. In that instant, time around High Lord Sky Eye seemed to slow down. Puff, a spear easily stabbed through High Lord Sky Eye's chest. With a twist, High Lord Sky Eye instantly died. After taking High Lord Sky Eye and High Lord Sandlight's spatial rings, the phantoms of infernal energy were scattered by Lin Ming into pure infernal energy and absorbed by him. On his arm, the heavenly demon tattoo solidified even more. The wings became increasingly full, and the feathers became more and more detailed and clear. Lin Ming glanced down. His heavenly demon tattoo had finally reached the late ten-winged stage, from when he entered the eternal demon abyss until now. Lin Ming had killed a total of six high lords. Even so, their infernal energy had only allowed his heavenly demon tattoo to grow to the late ten-winged stage. If he wanted to reach the peak of ten wings, as well as go from ten wings to twelve, then every step would be increasingly difficult. The hardship of becoming a twelve-winged high lord could be imagined. Picking up High Lord Sky Eye and High Lord Sandlight's corpses, he tossed them over to the mount. As the two corpses flew close to the mount, they seemed to evaporate, their bodies rapidly aging, their bones melting, and all of their blood vitality turning into two thin red wisps that sank into the ground without a trace. After swallowing these two wisps of red light, the mount trembled a few times and then slowly subsided. Even the surrounding energy field weakened. Lin Ming stood aside, quietly watching the changes of a ten thousand year corpse grass. Ten thousand years. To a wild and ancient type of grass like this, in truth, that only meant it was at young, growing stage. A young corpse grass like this was already terrifying. Although its striking power was weak, it actually had a very special ability. This was that it could compress the energy left behind by the dead emperor level powerhouse into a predator force field, using this force field to kill its prey. This sort of force field was absolutely terrifying. It had at least 10% of the dead emperor level powerhouse's strength. If the high lord level martial artists were to step inside, they would be instantly killed. However, the use of this predator force field has severe limits. It took a thousand years for the corpse grass to concentrate enough energy to form this force field, and this force field could only be used several times before being exhausted of its energies. Afterwards, once the corpse grass had finished eating, it would fall into a state of deep sleep. This was the so-called blood sacrifice that High Lord Sandlight had mentioned. He had wanted to use other martial artists to rapidly exhaust the corpse grass force field of its energy, forcing it into a deep sleep where he would then be able to capture it. Lin Ming also had this plan. At this time, the 10,000-year corpse grass had already eaten its fill and was beginning to fall into a deep sleep. Now, it would begin to further its growth as well as gather energy for its next predator force field. Of course, this was something that would only happen a thousand years from now. What do you plan on doing with this corpse grass? Demon Shine asked. I'll raise it. Lin Ming casually responded. Besides all this, the 10,000-year corpse grass had another function, and that was to raise it, feeding it blood essence and blood demon crystals. This corpse grass would gather this energy and purify it, condensing into a powerful energy field in its surroundings. If one were to practice in this energy field, the energy they could absorb would be much more pure and rich. Naturally, the effects of practice were superior to using blood demon crystals. Lin Ming patiently waited until the force field around the 10,000-year corpse grass dissipated until only 10% of its energy was left. Then, he linked his hands together and began shooting off several dozen true essence seals towards the 10,000-year corpse grass, creating an array that isolated it from the surrounding energy. Then, Lin Ming took out his purple comet's beer, preparing to break apart the mount. At this time, the 10,000-year corpse grass suddenly rose in alert. Oh, a piercing scream came out from the mount, spreading to the ears. This cry was like the sad and mournful groans of ghosts. It was hard to imagine that this was a sound made by a plant. Lin Ming thought all of this, his spear thrust towards that mound of earth. After using up the force field energy that it had accumulated for a thousand years, the ten thousand year corpse grass was no longer terrifying. Even High Lord Sandlight and High Lord Sky Eye had dared to capture it, much less someone like Lin Ming. Within the mount, there was a blood red plant. Amidst this plant's roots was a distorted face, and under this face was a fist sized ball that looked as if it were made of meat. This ball rapidly beat as if it were a heart. For a plant to grow into this sort of appearance, it was truly ghastly. After its nest was torn apart by Lin Ming, the ten thousand year corpse grass let out increasingly discordant cries its entire body shaking as if it wanted to dig deep into the earth. But, how could Lin Ming let it go so easily? With just a few seals of his hand, he completely blocked off the surrounding space. With a jab of his spear, the 10,000-year-old corpse grass was plucked out by Lin Ming. 